Hey everyone, welcome back. We're here in uh, Skyrim, just kind of doing whatever. If you uh, recall, we just finished killing a lot of vampires in the Red Water Den. And I think that we're going to go and um, find something else to do. Um, ugh. Actually, gotten a lot done in the series, and also not a lot done in the series. Um. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. There's a lot of things that we could actually end up doing this episode. So, we're going to play a game of uh, Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. But in the quest log. Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him pay $50 every day. My mom picks the very best one. And you are not. Not. What am I, some kind of child? Uh. Speaking of children, I had a hard time parking today. That may not sound like there's a uh, a correlation between that, but th there there is. Trust me. So apparently there was some sort of weird elementary school chaperone thing going on on campus today. And instead of the elementary school hiring school buses, they were going through this really weird system of having parents bring their children to the campus. Let that sink in for a second. Parents bringing their children to the campus. That raises two important questions. One, why? And two, where are they going to park? Well, I found out three days in a row. That's right. This happened three days in a row. Now, to you, this may seem like some sort of weird kind of like, oh, whatever, it's just a couple parents, right? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Not only were there the parents, there was also an event going on dealing with a new OSHA standard that was implemented or something like that. I don't know for a fact, but there was that. Plus... There was a marketing, um, something going on, like a, like a marketing thing where you have some dude, oh, I just wasted my special power, oops, where some dude speaks in a microphone and tells you all this stuff that, you know, you already know, but you're acting like it's news, um, and whatever, and then we had just a bunch of other stuff of just people coming into the campus, which led to the parking garage, that I paid money to uh, park in being filled. And this led me to literally run circles around the parking garage with other people acting like a shark. Um, I basically went through quite a few floors uh, from top to bottom until on the second floor as I was preparing to give up like that the brake lights of a truck turned on and um, yeah I put my blinger on put my car into reverse and waited that was my spot mine Don't you have better things to do than disturb me? go to hell and um, so I pulled in 
And yeah. Now, normally you might be like, okay, well, so what if the parking garage is full? They wanted me to park a quarter mile away at the university football stadium parking lot. And the parking lot that I had to go to is half a mile away from my class. Now, that I've let that sink in for a second, you might be thinking, so big whoop, it's half a mile. I had to walk there to school every day. Well, I had five minutes to get there. So, I was not looking at trying out my half mile time that day and seeing if I would be able to make it. So I got lucky, found a parking spot, made it to class, all out of breath and gross and whatever, but yeah. That deals with children. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what we're doing. Perhaps. So, uh. And this is beyond coincidence. First Arangar, and now Sabnior. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Ah, perhaps. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I was just at him. Okay. Sorry for going on the parking lot rant that I really got under my skin today. And I had to say something about it. So, there you guys go. Ah, there you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. I found the same marking at the Honey Broom area. Seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Very clever. You admire them? Maybe we should recruit them. Clearly not. They need to die. Don't dismiss our easily. They're well funded, patient, and have been able to avoid identification. They still need to die, Mercer. And you're the adversary I'm talking about. And you just happen to be that nemesis, Mercer. Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. Have they now? The parchment you recovered mentions a godgel lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our creators. His real name is Gullamai. Go to solitude and talk to the Argonian lizard boy. This is actually a fun quest. Inside man at the East Empire Company in solitude. And I'm betting he acted as a go between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Oh, dude, don't phrase it like that. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Talk to Brynjolf if you have any questions. I probably should. I can't believe. Don't get me wrong. We could scam him. Trouble. <laughs> You're going to, if that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, he's in way over his head, and you'll be up. I'm glad to see you. Just keep on Gullamai's head, and he's bound to step into something you can't. What did you need? Dude, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't feel comfortable in this situation. Oh, gosh. What am I going to do? Well, I haven't been to solitude yet. Well, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. He lives in solitude and we have to go all the way there. Stop telling me I can level up, I know. I'm just here to enjoy. I 
actually, it's orc tradition for them to find a fitting death. So... Uh, if you are not here to grant me a good death, then you can leave. All right. Are you sure about this? Mm, we shall see. It is within orc tradition for them to have a death worthy of their life. And boy, will I make it an interesting one. Sap up your life force. Oh, shoot. Wow, I got my freaking crap kicked in there. What kind of mace was he using? Boy, that was embarrassing. Uh, I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> or not. Wow. <laughs> uh, shoot. I cannot believe I just got my teeth kicked in like that. That was pretty funny. Well, if I run into it again, uh, I'm gonna, um, gonna make sure, uh, that doesn't happen. He hits hard. I was not expecting that. That was kind of... That was funny. Is he up here? No. Darn. Oh, nope. He's there. Those soldiers are worthless. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to start with Chiller End right there and eat some cheese. And then I'm going to hit him with my sword several times and absorb some health. There we go. Gonna back away. Okay, he's gonna go in for a charge attack right there. There's not enough time for me to actually shut him down. So what I can do is eat all the food in my inventory and uh, drink a couple potions in order to prepare for that bash. And then give a charge to Chilrend in hopes that I can get him with the freeze and then end him. Oh. See, it's not that I'm like terrible at the game, it's just that I don't take it seriously enough. So... You know, I would rather explore this Nordic tomb than actually play the, the quest we're on right now. So we're gonna go do that. <laughs> I'm still cracking about the whole or old orc thing. I can't believe that I just, like, <laughs> was foolish enough to not even... Oh, I should have taken that fight a lot more seriously. That's pretty funny. Well, that's what I deserve, I guess. Interesting. Someone stripped these drug or naked. <sighs> okay. Um... At least this one, who just happens to be female. Oh, poor Nord. Never mind. Ugh. I'm just whatever, you know? 
What happened here? Did a couple of adventurers get too cocky with their ability to kill Drow? Grr? Is it... I, you know... <laughs> oh no, Ivory Claw. Shoot. Well, maybe I'll get it if I go through the... Uh, Chambers. There we go. Shh, go to sleep. I don't know why I just picked up your bow. I'm sorry. You can have it back, though. How did I miss that one? Lay back down, boy. What do you guys think of the oh so hilarious meme Big Chungus? That's what I thought. There we go. <clears throat> All right. So, oh, whoa. Sweet. It's just what I wanted. See that? Ah. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I shot that arrow. I wasn't going to hit anyways. I know your pathfinding sees there's a path here, so take it. It's not that I'm like bad at Skyrim, it's just that I don't like take it seriously enough to actually like, you know, play it. I'm no longer that um 13 year old kid that spent hours upon hours late at night trying to uh gosh. Oh so many good memories of that. This was back when my dad put a timer on the Xbox in order to keep me from uh, from playing long periods of time. Ooh, you're alive. I'll take it, it's lightweight. So, yeah, my dad used to put, uh, use the Xbox parental controls to keep me from playing too much Skyrim. Seven hours a week, I believe. So, and I blew it all in one night one time. That was pretty fun. Ah, we're doing some gate logic, I see. Quite, li quite literally, actually, gate logic. Ah, get it? Like programming and 
electrical engineering, but, you know. That was pathetic. And there we go. Uh, but yeah, like discovering Parthenox for the first time was probably one of the coolest things. Just because I didn't see it coming. And I wasn't actively Googling um, like YouTube information and whatnot for it. So when the whole Parthenox thing first came to like my knowledge, it was one of the coolest things ever. So, if you don't know who Parthenox is, um, just because you haven't played the game yet, but if you also haven't, like, are care about spoilers, then, like, uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. I spoil things, because I'm a spoiler. Huh. Where have I seen... Isn't this the Wolf Queen? I've seen this before. Oh, if you guys could hear what I'm hearing right now. That's not good. That's not good. That's really not good. Oh, come on. The lever. The lever. The lever. I'm gonna wait for you to run out of Magicka. <sighs> Bitch, you weren't expecting that, boy. You're in my house now. Let's assume cardinal symmetry here. We have three over there, three over there. And it goes... Uh, snake, dolphin, eagle. Uh, Okie day. Okie day. Perfection. Oh no. Nasty little critters. Nasty, 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 nasty. Oh god, no. Gross. 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 Ugh. I used to draw these things in middle school to scare people. I was really good at drawing spiders and scorpions, but like nothing else, because I was like weird. So, then I got a book about drawing robots. I learned how to do like, you know, angular stuff. So, um, me, being the sociopathic, uh, youngin that I was, I started drawing robot spiders and robot scorpions. I got the counselor's attention. 
Eagle, eagle, uh, whatever. It's your fault for decreasing the lights. Let's turn all the candles off so that way the person who specializes in stealth can just hide in the shadows and knock them all off one by one. What could possibly go wrong? <sighs> I just picked up an iron shield. I think I do. Oh, it's an imperil. There's a crypt. Crypt and hide. Yeah. If I put in my hand. I used to love that song when I was little. Uh, crypt and I by three doors down. I walk the world far through the dark side of the moon. I feel there's nothing I can do. Yeah. Oh no. I don't know if you guys know this, but one of my hobbies is making Jar Jar Binks noises when I'm in trouble. What are they doing? Oh no, this isn't good. Okay, so I'm in trouble. <sighs> okay, so if we look at it this way, I'm screwed, but at the same time, cannon fodder. Wait, I just used... crap, I charged the wrong thing. Perfect. Ah, best sword ever. Oh, it's an amulet fragment. May the games begin. Oh, they're all dead. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. I was really hoping that they would just like come swarming out. And like, you know, it would be like a field day of just like absolute slaughter. Kind of like Keanu Reeves and um, John Wick. But no, instead they're all dead. Thanks for ruining everything. Okay, so apparently There we go. Perfect. Okay. Cool. All right, there's nothing else useful here. 
So let's go. I'm kidding. Let's go get the demonic chanting. Uh, well, okay, this wasn't very ASMR in hindsight. I mean, like, you know, I, I did kind of get really obnoxious there, so I realized that, don't worry. So, just wanted to say that I apologize. Oh, shoot, there's still this room. And all the tiles are turned to the right one, so let's go ahead and use it. Cool. Gotta love free stuff. Or not. What does this do? That's mean. Alright, well, I mean... This episode wasn't very asmr -y, but I understand that some of you guys just watched this for, like, the relaxing, entertaining portion. Not really the super ASMR, you know, I'm gonna go to bed and I'm gonna... I'm gonna do all that stuff. So, well... I hope you all enjoyed this. I really do. Um, it makes me happy to see that you guys actually, you know, watch it to, the, to this far. Um, the secret word is SpaghettiOs. So, I mean, just as a heads up, thank you all for watching and have a fantastic day.